Dear, dear, Assalamu alaikum. I am Indi Muhammad Reza Ullaha. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial system, industrial different type of disease system are using to process their control. Hardware disease system is most reliable and usable disease system of them. Today, I will discuss step by step about the analytic processing procedure of annual disease system for maintenance or replacement of any faulty field instrument without hampering the process system. So, we are saying, let's start. First, we connect the station. First, I will show what we want to do in the in my video. So, I am going to the another place. You see, here was another input, most important uh, tag number of FIC controlling system and go to the chart and here I will show what I want to do, what I want to replace that field instrument, the field instrument of my, this say my panel plant, one of the field instrument have the taking, uh, giving wrong value. So, I want to replace this one. First, I am showing you that is the where is the this instrument are using and uh, how can we replace this one? You see, this is the my temperature transmitter that is the value is coming in the flow compact. One of the block that is a uh, complex calculation value. We did the by pressure, temperature, pressure, temperature flow by using can we calculate and value it will give to the end of PID control that control the control valve. It is the so this parameter is very important to control this valve to control this process. So we have to be this uh, temperature transmitter is uh, showing the wrong value. So we want to replace this transmitter by new one. For that we have to be forced this analog input that that is the our process is running. So that is the our process is running system. But and in that case we have to be replace this one transmitter. So why how can we do this one? I show you the step by step. So I am going to the this one that the transmitter was showing wrong. This is the transmitter TSI 1312 that is the showing wrong value. So we want to be replace this one. You see it is the transmitter part and it is the scaling factor of the DSA value data acquisition value. We can do this one by two way. You see I am showing that the how can this input this value is connected to the flow compound value. You see this is the uh, from here to take this in this input to the inflow comp block okay, so i am showing this one and the you see here i can show you that this one is go to the that tag that is that do two tag are in the combined to each other so i am showing this one so i confirm it that is going to this one if it go i am going to another again i go to this tag that i can want to confirm that there is this input is come in the say in logic system you see I also this uh, tag number is the TICI 1312. You see, this also shows you to so J1 TIC 123. That means that, that this input has come into this, this logic to complete uh, com control this uh, control valve. So we have to be replaced this one by new one. So we go to that text and uh, do how can we do this one step by step? I show you. First, we open this tab and go to the chart of the logic system. And in the logic system, we can do in the two way. One way in the directly to uh, force or the go to the main mode in the analog input block, and another one is we can go to the DSA blocks. First, we have to go to the manager mode. With the manager mode, you cannot force any, anything, we cannot change anything. So, we go to the manager mode and we can do. First, I show you how can we in there make safe forcing in the for the replacement anyone, we go to the analog input block and here we go to the configuration and here this is the is only auto mode, we can change this one to the all, we can change this only auto to all. So, we go to yes in the process mode, we see it is uh, giving a warning that in the process is running, so it is going to go to online or not, go to online, then when you go to all, then you go to the auto, you have to change in the man mode, you see, in the man mode, go to man mode and uh, press the Okay, button. Then you can see 
that we go to the man mode. And see, when we put them in man mode, then the low function is coming to the DCA. That means the transmitter is in nothing can see, sending any value. When you put this the analog input in the man mode, no value in the transmitter will be effect to the logic system. So it is fix the analog input. You can see the input that is uh, uh, outgoing to this block, it is a fixed and does not changing anything. And in that case, you can then change the transmitter or you can replace the transmitter, anything you can do. But the process will not be hampered anything. So, this is the one thing that how can we force analog input in the logic system without hampering the process. We can want to change the field instrument or field transmitter by using this process. You see, you have forced the Hello in the analog input module and in the analog input module when we will make go to the man mode and the, then this the changing anything or light value does not coming from the transmitter to the DCS. You see, now I have a, already finished this job, when we need to finish this job and then go to the, again we go to the uh, block and go to the configuration mode and you can change the, here you can see the process source option, PV source option, we have changed to PV source source option to go to and the PV source for forcing the analog input first we change the PV source option then we change the PV source we have changed the only auto to all and then we PV source select the man but now after finish our job or finish our transmitter changing or the replacement we want to finish then we go to the PV source option and we place in the only auto mode only place in the only auto mode and that will be go to the in live mode online. You can see it is saying that only if again say they only want to go to online, the golden PV source will be disabled. It's automatically go to automatic system and the PV source is only the only auto mode. It is only auto mode and you see the live value is changing and the transmitter value and the accurate value that is coming from the transmitter to the logic system and it is complete the logic. And in that case, we have a Doing this job, I before I say that we have uh, we have done this work in two way. Uh, one is uh, we have done in the analog input block, and another we can uh, do in the scaling factor block, the data acquisition block, DSA block. Uh, I have first I have shown how can we uh, force this analog input the analog input point. Now I will show how can we force in the DSA or data acquisition block. How can we force this one? And the now then we will double click on the data acquisition block in same way you see here is the also in the PV source option here is the PV source option is in there it must be in the only auto mode you see somebody is changing the auto mode so changing is only on only auto mode it's a uh, real uh, uh, all times it will be changed the only auto mode and now we have to go to the change in the all mode only auto mode we have to PV source option we have to be changed in the only auto to all then we can change the PV source value you go to all and the TV source value you have to change in the man mode. Then the output of this DSA block will be fixed and does not be changed with the live value of the transmitter. You see, on this main value and you see in the the analog value in, uh, analog value in block is sending the value to the DSA value, but DSA value is in the man mode. So it is the DSA value does not change in the value in the it is in his output value. In this way, we can change the transmitter, we can replace the transmitter, we can do anything in the transmitter or field side that does the, that does not issue to the our logic. It is the the the, the most important of this changing is option is in the DSA value is very important that uh, when in the, if you change, if we force the or we change to the main mode in the analog input point, then we cannot understand that uh, after replacing or the maintenance or the field instrument it is getting the accurate value or not, we cannot understand that. Without, uh, we cannot see in the DCA system. But if you force in the DSA value or the data acquisition block, the, the, if we force the uh, first in this may, uh, analog input in the DSA block, then we can see after the analog input point, the yeah, our is a live value is coming, what accurate value is coming in DCS and it is showing the accurate value. Because without seeing, we can, if, if we can, if we can, uh, if we can withdraw the, the first thing, then the uh, live value will become and the process will be, if, if the, after changing the transmitter or maintain the transmitter, the live value is not be accurate, then the process system will be, uh, be hampered and sometimes it can be stopped. So, our, my suggestion is that if you want to 
change any transmitter of the instrument then uh, we have to be first in analog input point in the DSC or data condition block. We not we not we, we cannot change in the analog input point. If we cannot force in the analog input point, then we cannot see that the uh, cannot see the accurate value is coming in this case or not. If we change in the analog input point, sorry, DSC block, then we can see that the our accurate value is coming in after the analog input point, then we can the uh, enforce the after the limit as well, we can run this work from the you see now uh, our Job is almost, almost is completed. Now I show another one the, that uh, the one, another point uh, another transmitter which I show in the data in the uh, temperature transmitter block. How temperature pressure we can change? How can we change this one and enforcing this one? I am showing another one that uh, another another transmitter the pressure transmitter that how can we maintain as well changing this one because see, see another one. You see, then you go to the first we have to go to the in this is chat board and we can see then here, here you can see the transmitter block is also is here and the this coming so the so we go to the data vision block go to the only auto to all mode then we choose the pp source go to the main mode then the or the the output value of the dsc block is fixed and the logic will be fixed and in this way you can uh, do any any maintenance or any changing or any uh, replacement you can do in the transmitter or field instrument that does not hit hamper the field instrument as well the logic system or process cannot be hampered in this way so I have suggested that if you must, if you must have to be analog input, you must have to be forced before maintenance any the transmitter. The, that if you make any uh, make any mistake without forcing you can maintain as or change any the field instrument transmitter, then the process will be hampered. Sometimes the process will can be stopped, can be trip the planter. So I show you after maintenance work. I again I show after maintenance work. You only go to the DSA block and go to the you know, uh, press in the only auto mode. Then the live value will become to the logic and the call value will be in normal. Now I show you. I can show you that you can do in this in that station mode. Do, do, uh, I have to show in the two uh, two block. I am showing you another another. I am also showing that uh, how can you change uh, block? You see, you see if the live value is coming. You go to the data acquisition block again and again. I am showing that uh, you can understand easily. So we go to the DSA block. You see here are the two block analytic like point and the scaling factor the DSA block. Here you can also you can change. We can. I have shown you the in the DCS uh, sorry station mode. How can we force an analog input? We can easily can be what you can also can force the value value in the logic mode. You see, I go to the logic software, the configuration studio. For it is the Honeywell system. It is use the configuration studio for the logic system. Then you go to the control strategy. Go to the configure process system. You can go there and you can here you can find out the desired tag which you want to the first in the analog input. So I have only show in the this is uh, in the station mode that I want to change uh, I want to force an analog input or in station. So you can also this one can run in the logic system. But uh, in the station mode you can easily force or unforce any analog input point by in the manager mode. You no need to come in the logic system. So uh, anyone, if, if anyone, any, anybody want to can do in the logic system, so she, he also can done, he also, she can also done in the logic system. So I am saying it is the one pack, you see, this is the 0, 01 TI. So I am to write searching the tag there because it is in the hardware uh, system, many, many tags uh, are in the uh, option. So how to cannot find out this one? So we have to be uh, can search any input by using his the tag, tag number. So I am taking that tag number that is about the TI 0 to TI. You see, in the station we can find out that's the 0 to TI, TI 7704, 7704. By using this tag number, we can find this uh, logic in the logic program mode. You see, we write and uh, can find out and you go to the press the inter mode and go to the logic you see we come in logic and here you can see the two block is already running mode so in the same way you can double click on the dsa block you see double click dsa block go to the all and it is the logic so it is taking some time it is a some time it is taking to change the only auto to all so you see after going to change your the same procedure you can 
first so dear friend i will tell you that the procedure of forcing any analog input first we have to go to the, the desired block go to the desired block then the go to the configuration mode in the configuration mode you can see the only auto option in only auto option you have to be change the all option and then you go to the pv source option pv source option you can change the auto to man mode then the output of this desired block will be fixed and uh, the live value that is coming from the transmitter does not affect the upside or the backside or the, the logic side will be hampered, cannot be affect anything and uh, we can easily maintain this one. So therefore you see I force this one the, in the logic mode but in the station mode is also it is forced. So therefore I show you how can we force an analog input in the 100 DC system. I show you step by step. I think you can understand. If you think this my video is very helpful to you, please subscribe my channel. If you already subscribe, so thank you. Also, like, comment, and share my video. That's the other people can learn about this one. Uh, also, so dear friend, today, no more today. Okay, I can will be come with another maybe important video to you. So Assalamu alaikum. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also like, comment and share. Thanks for watching.